Yeah, just a quick update on this SR2 Danger Den. I've put the, the loom in now with all the the 12 volt fans. Um, <clears throat> Going to be uh, just fitting these spin bays up in there next. One there, and then one there. But uh, just thought I'd show you what it looks like. Um, gonna be losing, using uh, clear pipe like like this. Let me see what it looks like. So next time I uh, show you, we should have uh, should have a tidy bit. We'll have a couple of loops, and uh, on the back end, we'll have a few of these pumps. These are nice pumps. I've tested them out with the. Uh, the spin bays in it but this one came without LEDs on the back right so what I'm going to be doing is uh, you've got the, the quarter quarter inch uh, the quarter threads on the back quarter BSP threads on the back uh, that's where the water goes in on the spin bay and uh, by the looks of it you can have any of these as outlets but um, I'm going to probably use the last one and also what I'm going to do then is because I want to get LEDs in there Instead of drilling holes in it, I'm going to be uh, modifying these high pressure fittings which you can get from any hydraulic hose place. This will screw in then into the back of the spin bay and the, the conical the conical inside then will show on the inside of the spin bay and then I'll be um, putting an LED in the back of that and uh, sealing it up with some uh, silicon or something like that, Like you know what I'm saying? So we'll have in and out and then the two spares in the middle I'll be uh, illuminating the water using one of these um, other than that so all I've done is all the fans go to a to a common um, common area on the other side of the rig um, and, and you know they're wide then right so that um, if you don't like having um, if you don't if you don't want to work with the lights on on the fans you can just switch switch the lights off on them but it takes a little bit of work because you have to get in into the inside of the fan and uh, you have to rewire them a little bit um, the back of these fans you have to pull that tape off and once you get the tape off uh, you can see then um, the electronics underneath and just basically just just cut cut it and uh, uh, rearrange it so that you can switch the LEDs on and off like you know what I'm saying so uh, see you again cheers